Rhode Island Congressman Patrick Kennedy is once again grabbing national headlines, this time for an explosive speech in the floor of the House. We're talking about war and peace, three billion dollars, a thousand lives, and no press! No press! We first brought you Kennedy's impassioned plea on Eyewitness News at 6 last night. Now we want to know what do the people he represents think about it. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us live from Pawtucket with the latest developments on this story. Well, Karen, the big question here today, was it a rant or was it a passionate speech today? I spoke with many people here at Pawtucket, got their opinions, and tonight those opinions appear to be mixed. You want to know why the American public is fit? They're fit because they're not seeing their Congress do the work that they're sent to do. It's because the press, the press of the United States is not covering the most significant issue of national importance, and that's the laying of lives down in the nation for the service of our country is despicable. Shouting, waving, and pointing his arms, Representative Patrick Kennedy ripped the national news media on the House floor for their coverage of the war in Afghanistan. So we wanted to know, was it over the top? We went to the streets of Pawtucket, the area that Kennedy represents, to find out, and here's what people had to say. I think he's a sick, he's a sick guy. That's what I, you know, he's got problems. I mean, you don't wish him any, any ill will, but, you, you know, he'll be gets better, but he's got problems. I think that he's right. I think that um, I think that there should be a lot more press coverage for the war. I really do. I, I think that the public's not aware of what's going on in there to the degree that they should be. Uh, being a combat vet myself, I just think that, um, I think he's right. Do you think it was effective? No. Why? Because... I don't think anybody really takes him seriously, especially since he's leaving the office. And is he really leaving office today? A Washington Post report quotes the congressman as saying, quote, I consider it taking a sabbatical. It goes on to say that he will transfer roughly $500,000 in campaign funds to an interest-bearing account, which he says he may tap if he chooses to run for the Senate someday. So I guess only time will tell. Reporting live tonight from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom from Pawtucket, I'm Catherine Slotnick, Eyewitness News.